Hi, my name is Derek Henry and I'm a Solutions Consultant at Blackline. As a former user at two previous companies, my teams and I found it easy to learn how to use Blackline and set up our balance sheet recs and other close related items in the software. While Blackline takes a best practice, templated base approach to reconciliations, you have several ways on how you use them. People sometimes think we're trying to eliminate Excel from the process. Now, personally, I'm a big Excel fan. I've written thousands of macros over the years many of which I built into an add-in that people can download and use and save a lot of time. But it has its limits, that is Excel, especially around control. We're not trying to eliminate Excel, we're trying to reduce the risk of errors and reduce repetitive manual effort. People come to us because they have a capacity problem, too much work and not nearly enough time to do it. They're looking for efficiency and automation, but also more visibility, control, and consistency. If you're like me, you've probably seen people take 10 different approaches to the same type of rec. That's a big reason our users are fans of leveraging templates. Consistency is great for everyone, especially reviewers, new team members, and those expensive auditors. I think you'll see what I mean here pretty quickly. Now let's start by looking at a common example of a rec in Excel using a prepaid expense account. This one is based on a retail business that has multiple stores, and this account is for the prepaid property taxes. Now I've worked at several different retail and restaurant companies, and this is what a lot of these recs look like. You've got a summary sheet and it's linked to each of the stores individually which themselves have dates and calculations that are broken down by category and then you have the same thing for all the other stores. Now you can see how very quickly the more stores you add the more complex and big the file gets and the tougher it is to manage. Now you can link some things together, you can have calculations drive the dates and automatically roll forward but most people don't set it up that way and it's really touchy if you do. Let's see how this would look in Blackline. Now one of the options you have in Blackline is to just attach this Excel file. So what you're seeing here, this right here, this document is the Excel file, a little icon there. We've added a description that says, see the Excel file for the calculations, and here's the total. Right? And you can do that. That's okay. Another way to do this is to summarize each of the stores. So same kind of thing. Here's store one, two, and three, and the balances. And we're still coming up to that same balance and comparing to the GL. But what we found as the most visibility, control, and efficiency is leveraging the power of Blackline's best practice templates. Now, this, this example we're using, we're going to use the amortizable prepaid template. Now, setting up templates in Blackline is a one-time effort, and the template can easily be changed on a prospective basis if you need to. This template allows you to add or import details for items that should be amortized, and the schedule is automatically built. It'll automatically roll the balance forward each month. So, if you, assuming you've booked the amortization expense, to the GL, this rec could automatically be certified by Blackline when the schedule balance matches the GL, at least within a tolerable threshold. Now across all the templates, you'll be able to feed that GL balance in on a scheduled basis. So every 10 minutes, every hour, twice a day, even manually if you need to. Now because this is not something the users have to indicate or add or whatever, it's controlled. You don't have to tie it out, which saves a lot of time. Now if something changes, Blackline will alert you. It'll say, hey, balance changed, come in here and take a look and fix it, and it'll decertify it. It'll also calculate this difference here in terms of the what has not been supported yet in the GL balance. Now that difference can have a tolerable threshold of zero dollars or 50 or 100 or whatever you're comfortable with. Most people choose a risk-based approach or use the same global amount. And you're not gonna be able to certify unless it's within that. So again, adding control to the process. Now, when you certify your rec, any supporting items, attachments, comments, all that stuff is going to be locked down so that nobody can edit them. That's a huge control feature. And once you certify, Blackline's going to automatically send the rec to the next person in the workflow if there is one. Now, in this one, it's blank. The entire balance is unidentified because we haven't added anything yet. So we've got a couple of options. We can add them individually, or better, if we already have like a, a GL detail report or some file we're starting with, maybe the current rec as it exists today, you can import these items. So let's see what that looks like. We're going to import multiple items into this rec. So all we really need to do is click that and we're going to browse for the Excel file that contains the items we want to import. So if we come down here to the import browse button, we're going to search for the file that has what we need. This guy right here. And what it's going to do is parse that file, split out the different sheets so you can pick the right one if it has more than one. This is the one we want. Now, in the Excel file, this is what it looks like. Here's a GL detail report. These yellow fields are what the GL spit out. We've added these green fields with calculations. 
and then we're just copying and pasting or linking those to this blackline import sheet. So here are the fields at the top that we want to map to what blackline needs. Now it does a pretty good job of just assuming if it's the same as what the field is in blackline or it can find it based on the type of field. So spot check that and after you've imported it once it'll remember what you imported from before. And then you spot check the items you want to import and click them individually or my favorite one, the box at the top that checks them all off. And you come back up here and import them. In a matter of seconds, you've got everything in your rec. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that there's actually a difference here. All right, so we've got a total and then below everything, we've got this $2,800 difference. This is actually intentional. In my experience, it's easy to make formula errors in Excel. Personally, I go a little nuts building in checks and balances, but most people don't. So if we want to review the differences, we can summarize by store number. In fact, we can use this subtype field here to do that. That has a drop down list behind it, so you can use that consistently. And compare here to what's in Excel. Now the second one's good, and the third one's good. That's just a little rounding off, but the first one's off by a little bit. Okay, so let's take a look and see and break that down. If we look at this Excel file, we go to store one. I've got a screenshot here that shows the different items. Now that looks like the state is okay, 9162, and then the county one here, 5564. That one looks like it's off because check this out. Somebody is amortizing this over 11 months. It should have been 12. They should have caught up here in this month with two months and then done the rest by 12, right? That's pretty common for people to just not true it up correctly because they can in Excel and pretty much put whatever formula they want. And then the this guy looks okay, the city, and then the school district here, well, they've carried forward this formula dividing by 24 when maybe it should have been by 12, right? So it's just so easy. People do a lot of copying and pasting because it's easy in Excel, whereas in Blackline, it lets you know that there's an issue. Now this one's not that big. It just shows how easy it is to make errors accidentally in Excel, right? Those things tend to add up. Unless you're reviewing every formula every month, there's risk that errors go undetected. History is filled with major spreadsheet oopsies. Just Google or search the web for biggest spreadsheet fails. We want to reduce that risk and at the same time, refocus that manual effort to more valuable tasks. Now there are other benefits to performing your recs in Blackline. Right? You can do trends, you can bring in the previous period. In all of these items here, we can even look at the aging. We could build a report around that and all the other rec types, right? So you'd have access to the aging here and be able to see where the risk is. Right? They're also heavily integrated with other parts of Blackline. For example, that monthly amortization expense behind one of those items might look like this. You've got $900 and this indicates that there's a journal entry attached. So we have defined an automatic journal entry to pick these things out from the current month and put them in a journal in the exact format we need for our GL. Another example is variance analysis, right? So in this example, we've got that current period balance, the prior period balance, and we're gonna to have to explain, you know, a chunk of this difference if, if it passes our thresholds. So that's what we've done here. We've just explained that there's new vendors that weren't used the previous month or whatever that explanation might be. In conclusion, while the Blackland platform is powerful, it's also flexible to meet your business's unique needs. It's also easy to set up and use even for the smallest of accounting teams. We hope you found this overview to be helpful, but please reach out to us if you have any questions. And as always, thank you for your time and we hope you have a great rest of your day.